friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Tea Time with Tracy and Violet. I just got done doing my February wrap up, but I still got tea left in my teapot. So I thought I'll open some book mail orders. I'm not going to open it all because I have a bunch, but yeah, I haven't opened it. I have a couple of big bags like this. So we're going to open some books. bit by bit. Um, I'm having some black tea chai or chai tea and it's heavenly. Mm. So anyways, most of these books are from thrift books or secondhand books. So I just thought I can I don't know. This one is from A second hand, I know it is, I just don't know where it's from. Yeah, um, I'm trying to get some Alice in Wonderland retelling books of things. I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. I have tarot cards, I have I'm just I love Alice in Wonderland, and there's different books. This is Chronicles of Alice, and yeah, Red Queen by Christina Henry. I think she wrote Near the Bone, maybe? And I have that book, but I haven't read it yet. So I didn't realize she wrote that, but turns out she did. I know I've got a, another book that's, that's in that series. Maybe that's what this is. What do you think, Violet? Yeah, it is. Looking Glass and the Red Queen. The Chronicles of Alice Novellas. Is there more than one? Yeah. I don't think they're the light, fluffy kind of Disney Alice in Wonderland, which I do like that too. But uh, I have like an old copy of Alice and Through the Looking Glass. It's in my little cupboard over there. But I ordered, which they might be in these books, different versions, retellings of Alice in Wonderland. I have several different movie variations of it too, and it's amazing the different spins it can take. Oh, oh Violet. This is from Thrift Books. I I really like J.R. Ward. She is uh, she wrote the Black Dagger Brotherhood, and I read up until I, I forget how many books years ago. <sighs> up until the shadows, I think there's I don't know. It's up in the to the teens. Quite a few books that I haven't read, but I read them all consecutively up until. The last one that was released and then I stopped I went through years of reading slumps and then I find out there's a whole bunch of new books in the series so I got them and I got them secondhand because I'm not paying full prices and I didn't realize these I don't I can't tell you the order they go in I gotta look but my goal is to someday have a nice big wall or I do have a giant attic like flowers in the attic in my house I want to kind to kind of stage that as my little library and I would have a J.R. Ward shelf so this is Lover Unveiled and The Sinner and The Jackal there I don't I mean it's nicer when things are all the same size but I it doesn't bother me some people it really bothers it does not bother me if I got the story to read I'm happy also I did some videos on Cressley Cole and she came out with the newest addition to the Immortal After Dark series, Monroe. I did a whole reading vlog on that and I'm a huge IAD 
fangirl, like Mortals After Dark fangirl. Anyways, I've read every single book of Cressley Cole, not just that series, the professional series or something. There's three books in it. Her Sutherland Brothers series and her, I forget what it's called, McCreeve or something series. I don't know. I, I've read them all. I have them all. But I did not read her young adult Arcana Chronicles series. I don't generally read young adult. I don't generally read it, but they say it's really good. I don't care as much for books that have younger people in it sometimes. <laughs> I've come to realize that, but I trust Cressley Cole and everything else of hers I've ever read. I've really liked. And after reading Mumro, I had that heartache like, oh, I don't have anything else of hers to read till she gets something else out. And then I'm like, oh, I should just try this. Just try it. One of these books were like three bucks. I bought them all. So they're probably in this bag. Um, I forget how many are in the series, but yeah. That's what these might be. And again, when I have my little library set up, I will have a whole Crestly Coal shelf. All right, what's this one, Violet? This is from Thrift Books, too. House of Judges, book four. I don't remember this one. That's what happens when you do late night book ordering. What is this? I really can't remember. Book four. Uh, Olivia. This is by Carrie Taylor. I don't remember. <laughs> God. Did I order that by accident? I don't remember. House of Judges in a book four. Maybe I ordered book one, two, and three when I see it. See them, I might recognize them. I don't know. I don't know, Violet. She's right here on, on the floor. Oh, this is one of the Cressley Cole. There's three in this series. I've read all three of these, but I have it in ebook. I don't have it in paperback. Physical copies are my favorite. So I ordered all of these. Um, the Game Maker series, that's what it's called. And I read those three years ago. I want to reread these for sure because I don't remember. I remember, but just the skeleton of it. You know what I mean? I don't remember the meat of it. And uh, I know they're three brothers. And they're gangsters of some sort. Mafia maybe. I don't know. But, yeah. Exciting. Here's another one of the Arcana series, Endless Night. I think this is the first book. I don't know. I don't know the rest of the order. This one's hardback, though. This one's nice and floppy. Another one in the Arcana series, Chrisley Cole. This one's just little withdrawn from Johnson County Library, wherever that is. And another J.R. Ward. Exciting, exciting. I can't wait till I can display them all. <sighs> yeah, not that I want my kids to grow up and move out tomorrow, but I'm telling you, when I'm old and gray with my teacups and my beautiful everlasting violet I'm gonna have a house full of books a warm fire and a comfy chair that's what's gonna happen all right two more JR Wars I'm telling you the series is humongous it's huge like Cressley Cole's Immortal After Dark series only I just haven't read them all like I haven't read them all and I really like them um, uh, this is a Cadwell Christmas, a warm, 
a warm heart in winter. And I think this is, uh, yeah, Black Dagger Legacy. This is children of the people that are in the Black Dagger Brotherhood, something like that. All right. I don't know how long this is. Ten minutes. That's not bad. Er. No, I stopped. Did I stop it earlier? Oh, Violet. I'm getting all confused. Oh, I still got one there. Yeah. I've had some of these books here to open for a month. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Alice in Wonderland. But it's like a velvet of some sort. Oh, my goodness. I've never had a book like this. It, it is. It's like velvet or something. Oh, violet. Look at this. Look. Just look. Alice in Wonderland. The one that I have is so beat up. I have it together, but... Oh, I love it. Hallmark Books, but this must be some sort of a special edition to have it like this, but I didn't pay much for it. It's a little smaller than I thought. I thought it was going to be a bigger book, but ooh, 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 this is fancy. Fancy. Yeah. So, yes, I'm getting a couple of different um versions of the same book but I don't mind when it's that I really don't oh Laura Lee Laura Lee. I have a whole bunch of her books too up in my attic I'm telling you uh yeah Wolf Breed Jacob's Faith uh they're like shifter paranormal darker they're they're pretty dark actually Anyways, I've read most of her books in that series. She writes other series too, but that's, I think it's New Breed or Breed series. Anyways, anything from Alora's Cave is quite, quite spice filled. But yeah, I got that one and I will have, I have enough for a full shelf of her books too. Yeah. And I'm not ashamed of it. No, I'm not. This is from Thrift Books. What was that one from? It was second hand, but Book Trails LLC. I don't know what that is. Oh, another one of the Arcana series. I'm excited. And another one. See, this was $349. Um, to buy this and it's hardback. New would be like 20 bucks. So that's why I get so many. I mean, that page is a little bent, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me one lick. No, I'm excited. And yeah, for a young adult, I'm not really into young adult, but I am into Cressley, so I'm going to give it a try it on for size. Nothing wrong with young adult. It's just that's not usually the train I'm on. Oh, yeah. This is, I think, the first book in some sort of series. And I hear it's really jacked up. Really not appropriate. Uh, like, quite, a, quite dark. Dark elves taken. So, I have to see what, what it's all about. Yeah. Of course, I'd never want any of this stuff. It's like a fictional, a fictional story. It's like when people, you know, I'll get occasional people say, oh, well, how can you read stuff like that? Like, that's not appropriate. Like, that's going to hurt your soul and stuff. It's like if somebody likes horror movies or action movies or rom-com movies or true crime documentaries or anything like that. It's fictional. It's not real. I'm going to try this on for size. And I bought a second hand. So I only bought the first book in it, though, because if it's really not my cup of tea, I'm not going to buy anymore. But this is, I must have, I must have heard of this and wanted to try it. Because this is book one of that one. I don't know the book four. You know what I mean? The book four one that I got. This is book one. I, House of Royals, book one. Officially withdrawn from the uh, Henny Pin 
County Library. So that one. All right. Another thrift book. Trying to hold myself together. Violet, you don't need to roll your eyes at me, okay? You like these books as much as I do. You know you do. You want me to read them to you. All right. Ooh, that's a big one. J.R. Ward, The Beast. Big hard back one. I'm assuming this has to do with one of the characters in the series. He has a beast inside of him, maybe. Rage, one of my favorites. And this is another one of the legacy ones, the Children of the Black Dagger Brotherhood, I guess. Two more. Ooh, baby. I'm going to have a lot of, lot of catching up to do, but that's okay. That's all right. I've got my lifetime to do it. And I'm going to do it. Thrift books again. Oh, God. Let me just see. I didn't order it twice. Don't tell me I freaking ordered it twice. winter class no it didn't this is another cadwell christmas that's what this is but they're different books ah so jr ward cadwell is the city where the black dagger brotherhood world is uh the chosen and another legacy one that looks like i might have this book upstairs but look at that 50 cents 50 cents yeah, that looks familiar though. So, all right, I'll finish this up because I still have a quite a lot, but I'll do it in a separate, separate video. Ooh, I see some worn books. Well, maybe it's not supposed to be, but missing the dust jacket or dust cover children's classic Alice in Wonderland it must have had a cover on it at one point but look how yellow those pages are I love it I really do Queen's croquet ground another Alice in Wonderland so now I have three three Plus my other one that I have there. This is certainly the prettiest. Well, I shouldn't say that. This is pretty too. And my other one's pretty too. But this is the fanciest. The fanciest one. <clears throat> but, yeah. There. And the Queen's Heart. This is another Alice in Wonderland take. Not Christina Henry. This is Colleen Oaks. Um, and it's about the Red Queen that's in Alice in Wonderland. I think it's so it's before, before like a prequel to Alice in Wonderland, but it's dark. $3.99. Um, I think there's more than this one book in here. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure, but Colleen Hopes. I've never read anything by her. The last two, and then I'll wrap it up because I'm having too much fun. But then I want to go back and look at all of these. Too much fun, Violet. Okay. Here's the other two in that Cressley Cole trilogy. Got them secondhand. Again, I've read them. I just don't have the physical copy of them. But now I do at a fraction of the price. So exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. Oh yeah, Blood in Wonderland. So that goes. That's another Colleen Oaks book. 
I don't know which one you read first. I'll have to look it up, but 60% off retail price. Um, regular $21.99 in Canada. I did not pay that at all. Did not. It was secondhand and, yeah, a fraction of that. So maybe it's just the two books. I really can't recall, but I have... They're about the same size, so that'll fit nicely on a shelf. And it's a spin on the world of Wonderland. Evil is rising in Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's my haul. I will probably film another one, but it'll be in a separate video. So thanks for joining me today. Um, I want to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys. Well, I'm going to put these on the floor and roll all in them like Scrooge McDuck in his bank vault because I'm so excited. I really am. So, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I might see you tomorrow. Bye. Bloop.